Hey guys, it's Miani and welcome back to my channel. We are doing another DIY video today. I've been gone for so long and I'm so excited to have this video up for you guys today. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to do a DIY photo hula hoop gallery. It's very simple and easy to do. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So let's talk about what you'll need for this DIY. You'll definitely need a hula hoop. You can pick whatever size you want. <laughs> hula hoop, I'm sorry, I'm laughing at my dog not following directions I'm going through the hula hoop. You'll need a hot glue gun, some spray paint, and some ribbon. Now I only have one roll of ribbon here, but I highly suggest getting two just in case you mess up. And you also need some photographs cut in the size of two by two in black and white. Now you can honestly get these pictures um, in color, but I think black and white makes it look a lot more tasteful. And I also suggest that you try to get them in as best a quality as possible. I printed these pictures on photo paper, I think that's what it's called, on an HP, on an HP, whoa, on an HP printer, but you can do as you choose. I would have preferred my pictures look a lot less pixelated, but that's neither here nor there. So the first thing you're gonna do is get your hula hoop out and start spray painting it. Now when I chose my hula hoop, I made sure to choose one that had sort of a flat side, a flat surface on the going around the outside so that it was easy to apply my ribbon once I got to that step. Now spray painting might have actually been the one thing that took the longest because you need to spray paint, then let it dry, then go back and apply more coats just to make sure that no color is is peeking through the spray paint. Once I was done spray painting and waiting for it to dry, I went ahead and cut out my, I think it is two by two squares, but it might be three by three squares of my pictures that I chose for the gallery. I wanted to use this nifty kit that I got that um, allowed me to cut out the pictures, but you can honestly just use scissors. It would probably go much faster. I'm terrible at cutting straight lines, so this instrument made it easier for me, but you can also use scissors so that it goes by quickly. Next up is measuring the ribbons. So what you want to do is make sure that there's at least an inch to two inches of ribbon left over once you've measured it straight across the diameter of the hula hoop. This is where I realized that I messed up because I should have bought more ribbon in prep of how bad my cutting those different pieces of ribbon would be, if that makes sense. Basically, I'm terrible at measuring things, so I should I always have to buy materials and supplies in excess to make sure I don't jack anything up. So once I'm done cutting my ribbon pieces, I've decided to choose how I wanted the ribbon to be laid out across the hula hoop. Once I figured out how I want the ribbon to lay across the hula hoop, now it's time to hot glue the ribbon to the actual hula hoop. And this part is tricky as well because you want to make sure that you lay it down as flat as possible and cut off any excess excess whoa and cut off any excess ribbon and make sure that it just um, sticks to the hula hoop so that it looks uh, clean and not tacky. <laughs> which I'm also horrible at as well. This was a bit hard because it was hot that day. That hot glue gun was hot. I was burning my finger. I burned a couple holes in that tarp. It was just, it was a rough time, but I'm happy that I got all the way through it and got it completed. Next is to basically lay out the photos in the way that you want them to and start hot gluing them down as well. I decided that I would try to lay most of my photos on the parts of the rib uh, on the parts where the ribbon overlaid another strip of ribbon just because it gave more support to the photos. Or I, or at least I did that for most of the photos. 
After that, it's time to let it dry in a safe place so that it doesn't get messed up. And voila, that is it. That is an easy project if you are good at DIYs. If you're me, that's definitely medium to hard. <laughs> Um, let me know what you thought of this DIY down in the comment section below. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, Yami, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, you can go ahead and check out my new website, Yanni Paul, at www.yannipaul.com. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I love you guys. Until next time. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.